Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica J. And I was just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, Jessica, what is one thing all women do when they are not into you? Well, if so, I'm glad you asked because this is coming off the heels of a girl's night I had last night, which made me realize that uh, you guys need to take some hints better and to make sure you never miss out on another opportunity to, you know, have these all-encompassing themes ingrained in you so you stop chasing the women who aren't worth your time. Or another one of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button with that notification bell. Okay, so um, the short answer is when we women are not into you, we all close off ourselves and refrain from giving you ourselves. I'm gonna give an example. Last night I went out with my girlfriends and for those of you who know me, you know I never leave my house ever because people terrify me. So as Saturday nights would have it, we ended up up in the club just cause we wanted to dance and let loose. All my girlfriends are married with kids and I, uh, you know, they uh, once they have a babysitter, those bitches go crazy. Anyway, we go out to this club, we're having a good time we're dancing. We're not talking to each other. Wop comes on in the club, you know, get a bucket and a mop and shit. And then this group of guys, God bless them, very good looking group of guys. There's four of them, there's four of us, they got friends, we got friends. And you know, my super extroverted Mary friends who know nothing's gonna happen are like, hey guys, let's dance! So me and my one single friend were like, oh Jesus Christ, here we go. And again, these are very attractive men. These are totally my type. This is totally my friend's type. However, I, I was just not I'm having it and I immediately do one of these. Guy starts off with, hey, are you from here? And I say no. Then he says, where are you from? And I'm like, Jersey. And then he says, well, really? And I say, yeah, really. And then I kind of just robot on my way out of there while snitching up my other single friend. And we just turn our backs to them to dance with each other. And what do they do? They come around <laughs> to separate us and try talking at us some more. I'm going to tell you right now, if a woman is not offering up more information or personal disclosures or her time to you, she doesn't want you. And you trying to pry a woman up even more and trying to get more out of her is only gonna make it worse. When we like you, we wanna be vulnerable with you. We wanna open up to you. We want you in our vaginas. I have a girlfriend, she uh, is super into one of my clients and you know, she carries on conversation very casually with my other clients, asking them questions about them. But with the client she's interested in, she doesn't shut up about herself. Because when we're interested in you, we want to become undone for you so you can come be done done in us. It's our way of encouraging you in the intimacy and helping you out a little bit, but you know, taking some of the pressure off of you. But if a woman closes off and doesn't give any more than she's asked, she wants nothing to do with you. Too many guys confuse a woman being in that conversation and talking in that conversation as interest. They also confuse, well, Jessica, she still responds to my texts as interest. I can't tell you how many dudes I've been out with who thought that we had the best connection ever just because I happened to also talk in that conversation. I just texted some guy last night like, hey, I just want to let you know I had a great fucking time. You're a fun ass dude. And I actually did not feel a connection between us. I've got some shit I want to take care of in my life and don't want to date. And yeah, it's really great to meet you. His response was, so I guess I'll let it slide that you were texting me for a while because you're really you. You're gonna have to make it up to me though. And I was like, what? Don't confuse her engagement with you as interest. You want to measure her level of self-disclosure, her level of time given, and her initiation. If those three things are missing, she ain't missing you when you're not around. And I'm telling you right now, it might have nothing to do with you. Usually it does have nothing to do with you. I know for me, I'm in a position where I still compare every single dude I talk to or interact with with my ex. And it just dawned on me that how about I don't fucking date until I stop doing that. It doesn't mean any of these guys weren't really awesome or attractive or, you know, fun to be around. I just wasn't opening myself up enough because 
I don't want to. So you want to measure her level of openness. And if she is super fucking closed off, leave that girl alone. And again, it might not have anything to do with you. Last night, me and my girl, we were just there for our girls. I don't care how fucking attractive you were. We weren't even talking to each other. Why do I want to talk to this dude about? Yeah, I'm really from New Jersey. Ha! I can't tell you how many times I've been out with pickup artists and their clients. And these pickup artists have been like, stop at nothing. Girls don't know what they want. You have to keep pursuing them. And I'm just like, bro, stop fucking wasting your time. Don't you want somebody who wants you just as bad? So if you know that you're in a place where you would like somebody to want you just as bad and you'd like to get into that mentality to let go of the ones who aren't worth your time, check out my speech spark arousal system, which will help to one, at least put you in a position to not ask stupid questions that only warrant a one word response and actually get women interested and excited to open up to you. It is in that ability to open a woman up where cognitive dissonance happens and a woman thinks to herself, oh my god, I'm opening up. And that must mean I like him. Again, you can have the ability to open somebody up. Maybe if those guys had the ability to open me and my super, super, duper, duper closed off friend on the dance floor, we might have been a little warmer towards them. But only when you are able to open a woman up, create that connection, create that chemistry, can you be in a place to decide whether or not you can pass on her. Because when you're creating connections and chemistry with any woman you come across, that's when you have all the options you want. And that's when you can stop proving yourself to women and now have women trying desperately to prove themselves to you. So if you haven't yet, check it out at speaksparkarousal.com. Please stop talking to these women up in the club, asking them where they're from. For fuck's sake! Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.